Let's move on to our second segment. We're still talking football, but I got to say, this is a definitely a say what? We found <laughs> out uh, the last day or so that Clemson, uh, national champion Clemson, going to be getting national championship rings. Everybody knows that after their uh, big win over Alabama last, uh, last January. But one guy that is not going to be getting a championship ring from Clemson is Kelly Bryant, the quarterback who eventually gave way to Trevor Lawrence. And we all know what Trevor Lawrence did for the Tigers. Kelly Bryant deciding to transfer now at Missouri. Dabo Swinney, uh, Cedric, said no championship ring for Kelly Bryant because he wasn't part of the team when they won the championship. What do you think about that? I just think that's dumb. <laughs> very, very dumb. Let me ask you something, Dabo. What if one of your assistants got a head coaching job before the bowl game and his new employer said, I need you out on the recruiting trail because we got to get this thing fixed. Yeah. And 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 he asked to be excused and Dabo excused him. Do you think Dabo would have uh, denied that coach a championship ring? Let me tell you something. Uh, Kelly Bryant got them off to a four and no start. Yeah. And I know that the the ACC and SEC, sometimes their non-conference schedules are against the Sisters of the Poor, but 4-0 is 4-0. Trevor Lawrence turned out to be a better quarterback for Clemson, what Clemson was trying to do instead of Kelly Bryant. Kelly Bryant made a decision that was best for his future, but let's not pretend that he wasn't instrumental in helping them get to that point mm -hmm. to where they were. And so for Dabo to do that, and, and to say that he wasn't part of the team, to me is a very selfish, surprisingly selfish uh, gesture from a coach who preaches generosity and quotes the Bible and talks about Jesus a lot. So I was kind of put off by it, very surprised. Yeah. I admired Dabo, I always have liked him. I like the way he runs his program. I kind of like the way his kids come out of the program seemingly as better people having coached, having played under him, but in this instance, I'm shocked. I, I, I figured that Kelly Bryant would get a championship yeah. ring. He was not interested in sitting on the bench for another year, knowing that Trevor Lawrence is the guy, yeah. Yeah. unquestionably the guy, a national championship guy. Yeah. So to me, Dabo should have given the kid his ring uh, and said, thank you for all you've done for Clemson. You were very instrumental in us winning some games to get yeah. to that point. Uh, sorry it didn't work out, but I know there can only be one quarterback on the field at once. It's not like a wide receiver transfer. Yeah. You can only play one quarterback. Yeah. And uh, Kelly Bryant uh, can play and start in college football somewhere else. I don't blame him for leaving. He yeah. deserves that ring. Yeah, it feels, it feels petty to me. You said dumb, and I agree. I think it is dumb. I mean, because here's what it, it does. I mean, it, it, it makes this a story. When I think, as you said, Cedric, my thought was that there was no question he would get a championship ring. I didn't, I didn't give it a thought until I saw this story emerge uh, this week. You know, I, I just think it, it creates um, unnecessary uh, publicity, bad publicity um, that, you know, wasn't, it, it, here's the thing, Cedric, you and I know this. Anytime a team wins, an, uh, wins a national championship, Anytime a team wins a, a conference championship, it's rings for everybody. It's rings for the IDs, the janitors, yeah. everybody gets a ring. And I get that. I get that everybody's part of that team. But here's the thing about Kelly Bryant. He won four games for them last year and included in that non-conference schedule was a win at Texas A&M. And I know Texas A&M wasn't a world beater, but to or go to beat them down there. They went on the road and won down there with Kelly Bryant at quarterback. If he And they got a bad call. The Aggies got a bad call near the end. Remember how mad Jimbo Fisher was? Right. Because the Aggies were on their way to upsetting Clemson. And they called, I think they called the guy out of bounds and he wasn't out of bounds and he would have scored. So um, the one thing I'll mention, Jen, and this is what I'm, this is the difference between team and self. When you think about team, remember when Peyton Manning led the Indianapolis Colts to the Super Bowl, that long awaited Super Bowl? that had been eluding them for years and mm. years. With uh, that particular team, its running backs were Dominique Rhodes and uh, Joseph Adai. Yep. Now, remember Adrian James, Jen? Yep. Who was, who was a stalwart on that group with Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, and Peyton? Those guys played 10 years together. But Adrian left right before they won that Super Bowl. Yeah. The Colts win the Super Bowl, and what do they do? 
they give Adrian James a Super Bowl ring because they know that he was part of the journey that got them there. Mm -hmm. Dabo Sweeney could learn a lot from the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, and you know, when you think about how things are being handled right now with this situation, I think about the way Kelly Bryant handled being benched. Yes, he ended up deciding to transfer, but he hasn't made, he could have been ugly about this. He could have, you know, complained and, and been very vocal about uh, losing his job and, and, and you know, not, uh, not being able to, to have that spot anymore. But he's not, uh, to my knowledge, said anything ugly about Clemson. And then to have this come out that, sorry, even though you won games for us in a sport that you have to win games to get into the playoff, you have to be nearly perfect to be a, uh, to be a semifinal team in college football. Sorry, no ring for you. I think it's a bad, a bad look for Clemson, and they're going to have to deal with it because I don't think this story is going away. I think Kelly Bryant, as loved as Trevor Lawrence is amongst Clemson fans, I think Clemson fans also have a pretty deep appreciation for Kelly Bryant and what he did for that team. So I don't think this story is going away.